Welcome to Unshakable with Human Design, the show dedicated to helping entrepreneurs use human design to shift from hustle to flow without sacrificing results. Come here to become an unshakable human and build an unshakable business according to your human design. I'm your host, Nicole Lano. Hello and welcome to Unshakable with Human Design. I'm your host, Nicole Lano, and I want to share with you a, a key motto, mantra, way of living and being that literally changed my life. This is what I teach my clients. But when I started looking at my life through this perspective, everything changed. My relationships changed. My relationship to myself changed. My productivity changed. My results changed. And everything in my life got better. And I became stronger. And honestly, this is the key to becoming unshakable. So if you're listening to this show and you hear me talk about being unshakable with human design, this is a really big part of it. This is part of that three part of clear, align, and move. We clear out the past. We clear out everything that is holding us to the way that we've always been, to the problems we've always had, to the way we've always lived. And when we're trying to train, change our results, if you're into personal development, you know you have to change yourself. You know that is the necessary part. You can't change your results without changing how you show up. And really at the core of that is who are you showing up being? And human design is that align part. That's how I look at it. Aligning is like looking moment to moment at how can I know right now what to do? How can I tune into myself rather than the outside world? But what we're going to talk today about is the first piece, the clear piece, the piece where we process the trauma. And when we process it, then we're able to move on from it. And this kind of key saying that I say over and over to my clients, I'm a broken record telling them this all the time, but triggers are gifts. That's what I want to talk to you about today. I want to shift that perspective. And we live in a world where no one's supposed to be triggered anymore. And it's okay to warn people, there's trigger warnings, letting people know that this might upset you. You may not want to go further. <laughs> it's like a spoiler alert. Don't read this if you don't want to know these things. Don't read this if you don't want to be triggered or you're not open to hearing something that might be polarizing or upsetting. But triggers are gifts. And I'll tell you why. And I'll tell you how this helps you and how this changes your perspective. If you start adopting this and start working with it and start treating your triggers as gifts and not just pontificating on them, but processing them, how it can change your results. I have worked with, um, one client in particular comes in, comes to mind. She just had such crazy results that I, I, I talk about her a lot because she took off like a rocket ship. She's an interior designer. She has an established business. So she had something going already. So some people think that quantum leap means I go from absolutely nothing to millions of dollars. And it very rarely, if ever happens that way, unless you have some stroke of luck or connections or something like that. But for the most part, there is this part of doing what you can with what you have, establishing something, getting something up and running. And then once you're there, when you can start to let go of the old stuff that's holding you back, you reach your limit. And then you say, okay, I know I'm at my limit. Now I need to do something to break through that limit. And I know that I have something to do with it. And that's where my client, Crystal, she came in and she was like, I know I can't break through this ceiling anymore. I have all the tools to build my business. I have all the strategy but I know there's something in my own way. I know I have money mindset issues. I know I have personal blocks. I know I have energetic blocks and I I don't know how to break through them myself. And that's when she came to me. And this was at the core of the work that we did. And she's now signing six figure clients left and right. That's her norm. When she came in, she had a goal of hitting a $50,000 client and she has well surpassed that. Now she's signing six figure clients as a regular thing. She has tools. She's an interior designer. So she was in a really wonderful program that I'm a part of as well called the interior design business bakery run by my very good friend, Michelle Pant. Brilliant program. If you're an interior designer, you should definitely check that out. Um, she had that program, but she was not able to operate all of the tools in it. She was not able to put all of it to use. So that was why she came to me. She's like, now I need the other side. 
She's like, I want to move faster. I know I'm capable of more. Show me how I can get there. And this was a key part in that, in her going from four-figure months to six-figure months, was letting go of the old stuff. So she was able to use all the tools, because that's really what this is about. It's not all you need is the energetics. You need business building practices. You need proven strategies. You need structure. But it's not all most of us need. Most of us need the energetic side, because any successful entrepreneur, the ones that have been through all of it, They'll tell you it's getting over myself. That's what's at every new level. Can I do it? And making myself believe that I can and getting past any limiting beliefs or limiting energy that's holding me back and tethering me to the person I used to be. So triggers or gifts is a key tenant in all of this. And this is something that I teach inside my VIP program inside the human design lab. So in the human design lab, we have a VIP tier. This is on this stuff. I use EFT to clear out the triggers, to process the emotions, to get to the bottom of these things. And I give you a process for doing that. So that's something that we do inside the VIP program in the human design lab. But really, we're looking at our outside world as a mirror for our own experience and for what we need to heal. So when we are triggered, it means it's only possible for us to be triggered because something lives in us that can be. It is a nerve that can be tripped. It is a circuit that can be tripped. And just like when something happens in your house and the circuit breaker gets tripped, you go out and you figure out which one it is. And you say, this one is sensitive. This one can't handle the power of my professional hair dryer. This is why we have safeties on these things. It's because there's certain sensitivities. So it's not the outside world that's the problem, which is how we tend to look at triggers. I need to stay away from that. No, it's something in your experience. It's something in your energy that is super sensitive to that. And it's figuring out why. And it's not even so much about why. It's just getting to the root of it. And this was a big shift for me because... I had a problem with everybody back in the day, and I thought I knew everything. (laughs) I was so smart and so wise, and I knew everything about everyone, and I had it all figured out, right? Yeah, not so much. Naive, young, arrogant. Yeah, that was me. My five line was in that space at the time. My five line is in a very different space now. The shift that I have, and the one that has had such a profound effect on me and my clients is... When someone triggers me, I'm no longer looking at them like what's wrong with them. And this came up with me recently where someone really bothered me and they tend to, they tend to bother me. And I was like, I have been resistant to looking at this relationship and this person with anything other than judgment. I'm so right about her. And it doesn't mean people can't be toxic, but I stretch myself and I open myself up to say what in me is bothered by this and why? So the first question I usually go through is I I look and I'm like, does this person have something that I want and I'm jealous? I'm upset because deep down there's this feeling and there's this wound that says I can't have it. And if the answer to that is no or nothing really comes up there, then I'm looking and I'm saying, who are they being that reflects something in me that I don't want to look at? Or what are they doing? that reflects something in me that I don't want to look at? What is the ugliness I'm seeing in them that is really a mirror showing me the ugliness that I don't want to face in me? And usually with one of those, something comes up. And then I can dive into it. And then I can start to transform it. And then I can bring it on my team. Then I can shift it. And this is what I talk about going from the shadows to the gifts in our human design. It is all about that shift. It's all about realizing that there's nothing wrong. It doesn't need to go. It will never go. But can I shift it into a gift? Once I can shift it into a gift, then I can use it. Once I can shift it into a gift, I'm no longer attracting it. I'll no longer experience that. Not because the world changed, but because I changed. And then, yes, we do affect the people who are around us. We are no longer available for that energy. So it stops coming to us. We stop playing with it. 
we stop exchanging with it. And when we stop exchanging with it, then it no longer feels like we are an open port to go and sit in. And we get new things and we start feeling deserving of something else. So this is such a core piece. So I hope you go out and you start looking at when you feel triggered, when something challenging happens, can you look at it and say triggers are gifts? Triggers are gifts. This is showing me something that is going to get me to my next level. If I can transmute this, then I can transform my life. That is what I'm being shown. Everything is happening for a reason. It's all rigged in my favor. Nothing is happening to punish me. It's only happening to serve me. So I hope that this helped you. This is something that I do every day. And it's something that I've tuned my awareness to, to say, I wonder if I have been slack in this and I haven't really been tuning into my triggers. And I'm not triggered all that deeply anymore, but am I paying attention to even the subtleties? Am I paying attention to the little ones? Because that's where our growth gets to. So if you've done personal development work, if you've been in this game for a bit, are you paying attention to the subtleties? Because I'm always looking at the people that are like, yeah, no, I know that. Or yeah, no, I did that. Or yeah, I'm over that. Or yeah, I worked through that. Have you? Do you have everything that you want? Do you feel like you are operating at the level that is your potential? Because if not, then there is something more. And that's another way of putting the blinders on and just being like, I'm perfect. And I have been guilty of that. I've been like, I've been through this. I've been through that. But now I'm noticing and I'm pushing for a new level and I'm pushing for new possibilities for myself. So I know that I need to stretch myself further. I know that I need to look deeper into me. And yes, I can dig into my human design chart and I do that and I have done that and I continue to do that. That's a daily practice for me. But the other way, the other side that you hit this from, that's the proactive side, right? The proactive side is saying, this is in my chart. I'm going to dig into this. And that's a process. But you're getting moment to moment feedback from the universe, from your world, every moment of every day. Are you paying attention? And that's where triggers our gifts come in. That's where really fast ascension comes when you can use moment to moment feedback as fuel and material for your expansion. Everything is giving you a clue to telling you how to get to your next level if you're paying att enough attention. So if you want to dive deeper into this, this is what I go into in the Human Design Lab VIP level. This is where you get support from me. We go through this on a monthly basis. We are going through focuses on shadows and how to pay attention to your triggers. That is what we do in the VIP level. If you're interested in that, please go to nicoleno.me forward slash lab, and you'll see that we have the lab and then we have the VIP level available to you there. So please go over there, check that out and let me know what you thought of this episode. Please leave us a review on iTunes and subscribe to the show so that you don't miss any episodes. Share this on your Instagram, take a little story shot and share it in your stories. Tag me. I'm at Nicole Lano official. Tell me what you loved about this episode and help us get the word out about this show. Please tell a friend about it. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you in the next one. Remember in order to have an unshakable business, you must first become an unshakable human. So thanks for being here and please join us next week where we'll help you on your journey of becoming unshakable with human design. We'll see you then. If you love this episode and you're a fan of the show, please show us the love on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you're listening to the show and leave us a review. And if you'd like to connect with other entrepreneurs on their human design journey, join our free Facebook community, Human Design for Entrepreneurs. Go to nicolelano.me forward slash podcast links to join the group, book a human design reading with me, or access our free human design resources. We'll see you there.